Well, you know what, uh, Sevdak is, uh, no, it's really, it's, actually it's difficult to explain. You have to listen and to feel this, you know. It's not a question of words, what they are, what, what, what they are singing about, you know. It's more about feelings, you know, how they feel time, how they feel love, how they feel all of these things in life, you know. Just they have a time and they are relaxed and they enjoy every second, you know, feeling how time is passing beside them, through them, you know. It's how I feel, Sevda, you know. <laughs> In a musical sense, Sevdlinka is characterized by a slow or moderate tempo and intense, emotional melodies. Those songs are very elaborate, emotionally charged and are traditionally sung with passion and fervor. The combination of Oriental, European and Sephardic elements make this type of music stand out among other types of folk music from the Balkans. The singer will often impose the rhythm and tempo of the song, both of which can vary throughout the song. The origins of Sevdalinka are not known for certain, though it is known to date from some time after the arrival of the Ottomans in the medieval Balkans, but melodies and the venerable Amanaman lyrical figure hint at strong Sephardic and Andalusian influence which can be explained by the arrival of Sephardic refugees in Ottoman Bosnia. The first historically mentioned Sevdlinka is considered to be the illness of Muyosevic, which is believed to have been written around the year 1475. Listen to these songs in the quietude of your own soul, without asking where they came from and who do they really belong to. Because they belong to all of us, everyone who listens to them around the world today, quietly singing to them with our soul. <laughs> 